Good morning. Welcome to Chart Busters. This is the show where we highlight all the buzzing stocks of the day, and we'll need to do that because the index is pretty flat. Um, so I guess we'll have to dig deeper beneath the surface to find out what's buzzing today because at the index level, uh, the Nifty is just up close to about eight odd points. Uh, the Sensex is doing marginally better, so that's got a gain of about a quarter of a percent. Uh, the mid caps, we're so used to that mid cap <laughs> outperformance and those blockbuster rallies there. That's also pretty quiet. So I guess uh, it's all, you know, we'll have to find out what's happening below the surface now. Absolutely. We'll have to find out what's happening below the surface, Reema. But at the same time, remember, this is uh, the options expiry yeah. today. So maybe it's a market for a lot of those premium eaters. The Nifty yesterday closed at 11,053, today higher by just about 10 points. And the key strike, which is the closest to where we are right now, is the 11,050 strike. Just for today, the 11,050 call as well as the 11,050 put. Put both of them together, you see an addition of close to uh, upwards of 15 lakh shares in open interest. You have 10 lakh shares added on the 11,050 put, close to around 7 lakh shares added at the 11,050 call. Put the premium on both of them together, you have somewhere around 30 to 40 rupees. So that's something that the street is believing. The markets would uh, 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 range uh, move in this range of 11,000 to 11,100 just up until the expiry takes place. Because if the smart money writes the 11,050 call and put, which is a straddle, it would make a uh, neat around 40, 45 rupees if the market stayed at 11,050. Okay, let's um, see how the weekly expiry plays out uh, in terms for the banks and the options. Let's um, take a look at the top headlines then at this hour. IDFC First Bank under pressure. Morgan Stanley gives an underweight rating to the stock, says the fundamentals are weak and that the valuations are over one time FI20 price to book, which is expensive with a poor risk reward. Biocon is in the red. The company's insulin drug substance manufacturing facility in Bengaluru gets inspected by the US FDA. It's a pre-approval inspection. The unit, six, uh, unit gets six observations. Divan Housing slips in trade as CARE cuts the rating of the company's entire liability instruments. Rating on NCDs cut to AA- and on perpetual debt to A. CARE cites financial flexibility constraint as the reason for cutting the rating. Well, well, the Nifty is absolutely flat, 10 points higher. Just keep an eye out on a couple of these frontline index stocks. We have LNT, which has moved very, very smartly. 2.5% gain on LNT. It's a fair weight on the index, so the stock would be contributing a fair amount to the index as well. Along with LNT, you have ICICI Bank. So if the contribution chart comes up for you, uh, it, it would be uh, you know uh, safe to assume that the majority of the 10-point gain that is coming in on the Nifty is primarily on account of both LNT as well as ICICI Bank. Well, Reliance 2 has moved about 11 points on the Nifty are being given by Reliance. The IT pack not doing well, as well as HDFC Twins IT pack perhaps on account of a stronger rupee. So let's see what happens. Let's see what the view on the markets are. Ashwini, a um, bit of consolidation after a stellar rally that we've seen in just the last three days, the Nifty high by about 270 points. Do you think uh, this is just pausing for breath or maybe something's come undone? See, basically, uh, you know, we are very close to previous Nifty highs of about uh, 11, 140. Mm -hmm. So after a 10-day rally, uh, you know, holding at about key levels, I don't think there is great reason uh, to be extremely bullish here. And uh, today we have not been able to cross uh, the morning's high. So the, the kind of, uh, uh, you know, buying is slowing down. And my sense would be that uh, we could be in a 200-point range of uh, 10, 950 to about 11, uh, 150 thereabouts. And uh, uh, chances are we move sideways before we uh, move forward. So that way, uh, you know, individual stocks, uh, mid-caps, etc., they, they could see a bit of profit booking. Now, having uh, said that, uh, individual stocks, HDFC is a sell with a stop of 1890, target of 1840. Infosys is a sell with a stop of 735, target of 710. And uh, Sun TV is a buy with a stop of 618, target of uh, about 640. Ashwini, uh, morning. You said that the markets could move sideways. So, someone has a long position. Is it time for them to exit at these levels today? Well, provided that he is willing to, uh, you know, get an entry back again, 
because uh, we basically come straight away from uh, 10,000, uh, you know, 750 right up to uh, this 11,100. Uh, uh, so that way it's been quite a rally. So uh, a bit of profit booking may not hurt. Uh, whenever the correction comes in, I think the Nifty could easily lose uh, 150 to 200 points. Right, Ashwini. As we speak, the markets are the high point of the day. We will keep an eye out on that. RBL Bank, that's the stock which has moved higher as we speak. And a fair amount of volume action taking place on RBL Bank as well. Anything that chartically explains this move? RBL Bank. That's right. Yeah, RBL Bank uh, is outperforming the private banking space. But again, you know, uh, given the bank nifty rally, it's been one big rally. Possibly if we can come down to say uh, 595, 600, uh, you know, fresh entry can be had. But uh, if you entered, uh, you know, where the rally started at about 540, I think it's ripe for profit booking. Any right. disclosures? Uh, we have uh, 11,000 nifty puts uh, uh, and we expect you know, 100, 150 points uh, to come off. So that way uh, we are playing for a bit of uh, downside. All right, Ashwini, thanks a lot for joining in and giving us all those details. With that, we slip into a short break. Come back, we take the employment discussion further. Team Lease, the stock on our radar on the back of CMIE's shops report. We'll get chatting with N. Ravi Vishwanath, CFO of Team Lease, on the other side.